Hi everyone, my name is Leandro and I am the founder of notion to sheets Today I want to show you a new, a new feature I have been working on and it's basically being able to create new pages in Notion based on new rows in Sheets. So I will use this sales CRM database that I have in Notion. First thing, I will sync it with Sheets. That way we will have the structure of the database in place with each type of the columns. So I will select sales CRM and start the sync. Notion to Sheets will now create a new sheet with all the information and then it's going to fill the pages from Notion. You can see here, new sheet, and now we have everything in place. We can resize some of the columns. We can hide columns as well. For example, let's hide this column, the icon. Um, and then we have a column owner, we have, this one is a people property, we have date properties, selects. So, what I'm going to do now, Notion to Sheets will use two keywords in order to handle the page creation from Sheets to Notion. And the two keywords are draft and new. Draft is for signaling the add-on to basically say, okay, I want to use this row to fill information, so please don't touch it. And once you're ready, you can update from draft to new, and the add-on will go and create the page in Notion. One thing to know is that we support all properties, name, select, people, dates, and everything. So we'll, you will be able to fill all the information from Sheets, and that page is going to be created in Notion. So now let's show you how this works. I will first write the word draft in the page ID column. Once we have the draft word in there, we're going to start filling out the information. So name is going to be Leandro Subreski. We can select a priority, status. We can fill out the account owner. In this case, is a people property, and we will use the name of the, of the person. We can use dates, both start and end. In this case, I will do something super quick with today. And in here, we will do today Today plus one. Again, we can continue filling the information, email, more dates, phone. Let's let's fill out the company. To sheets. Once we are ready, we will update from draft to new. Remember, though, the sync process happens every 15 minutes. So when the automatic sync process happens, this will be created in Notion. But if we want to do the creation right now we can just click Update Databases to run it manually. This will go and update all my databases that I have in Sync, plus update single tables and the rest of the things. Okay, so here you go. So we have the, the row that had the new keyword. Now it is a new page in Notion. We can see it in here. Let's open it to see all the properties. So you see we have the account owner that we fill with my name. We have the unexpected close. We have the two dates. We have also the company name and as well the status and the priority. So again, you can create multiple ones. You can just write draft in here, draft again and fill the information. And once you're ready, you just update to new. Another thing that you can do as well is to use a formula. So for example, you can say, if we have a value in name, priority, and status, I want the keyword new. And if not, I won't just have the keyword draft. This can also be used for, for example, syncing Google Forms into Google Sheets, or if you have information that's coming from third-party services that you want to have that information in Notion. One thing to know, though, is that the sync once the page is created, will continue to be Notion to Sheets. So if I make a change in here, so say, let's say just Leandro, and I run the update database, we will now have just Leandro here, and the sync continues as usual. Thank you very much. Let me know what do you think about the new feature in the comments.